Hello and welcome back to Bounty Train with me, Barden. Okay, we're gonna go for fur. Then a little bit of cloth. And then finish off with medicine. Oh, we've got a bit of an earthquake going here. It's not that bad though. It's only the other one. It's Japan, so you kind of get used to them. Right, and then we're heading to Pittsburgh. We're the first time I was here, and we actually, when I was living in a different part of Japan, we actually have a, a pretty powerful earthquake within the first few months, to the point where even Japanese friends were sending me messages to check if it was okay. Um, but yeah, um, since then, had a few kind of similar ones, but most of them are just kind of little ones. It shakes a little bit and you just kind of, you, as I say, you get used to it. Right, uh, supply run and jewelry, can't do that. So we're going to go here and take profit on all of these. Again, it's only a little bit of profit, but hey, a little bit of profit is profit still. And then we're going to be going to Buffalo next. So if you had a delivery that was going to Buffalo, you don't. Okay. So, here to Buffalo. What do we do? Oh, I want to buy that Gatling gun. So, let's move this to there. And let's buy that and put it there. Because that's going to be a huge difference. And the reason I'm putting it there is because generally, not all the time, but generally the bandits start coming from that side first and I want to to whittle the numbers down quickly okay so here to Buffalo steel as possible cotton would be nice yeah let's go for cotton I think so we'll get ourselves a ton of coal, we fill up on cotton. And then we're going to be touch and go with it. Yeah, we're okay. Uh, yeah, right, have our money. Our hard earned money that we needed to buy that new engine. Yeah, you can have it, sure. Wait for you to open. You need jewelry or oil. Okay, let's sell the cotton. Let's and see if you're delivering anything to Cleveland. No, St. Louis, St. Louis. And Detroit. Okay. Send from here to Buffalo. Or, sorry, here to Cleveland, even. Okay, so guns. So guns are going to make 50 odd dollars on. We'll make 51 dollars on steel as well. So steel and guns are the things that we should be looking at here. So let's get two tons of coal. Then let's get steel. Okay, let's get as much many guns as we can carry first. Okay, so we can get 17 of those. We're not going to be able to fit on any more steel, so let's just go with that. So let's just hope that those we're not going to get waylaid on going there. Okay, and guns aren't illegal here, so maybe City Hall might even need a supply of guns. Supply of medicine and then deliver tobacco. Okay. That's unlucky, but hey, it's alright. We're still gonna make money. Okay, now. Now we're in an interesting dilemma because this new engine is 21,000. If we sell that as five, that leaves us $500 short to get that. So we've got to do some runs. Okay, so supply runs seven 
deliver 19 units of tobacco to Richmond, taking 27 days. Or we could do a supply run of medicine. We could deliver 7 units of tobacco to New York. Let's see. Let's see how difficult the medicine one would be to do. So, Pittsburgh is the closest place. How much medicine did you need? Seven units. So, we could go to Pittsburgh and do that. No, what I'm going to do is to have a supply run to, yeah, deliver to New York. We're going to do that. We're then going to buy something here. So the idea now is to go to New York. So Cleveland to Buffalo, then to New York. So something that we're going to buy in Cleveland and sell in Buffalo. So that's going to be food and then yeah food I'm gonna stock up on food let's get a ton of that let's buy food let's move so the idea is we're gonna go get our boys so we don't have to deal with all these assholes extorting us all the time Wait for it to open. Please need food. You still need jewelry and oil. The oil we could probably do from New York. So it take us about five days round trip. Okay. I think we'll accept that. So let's sell the tobacco and sell the food. And something from here to New York. So Buffett to New York, I think, is one of those awkward ones as well, where there aren't that really much chance of a profit. Yeah, so doing the supply run. Oh, wait. We just sold the tobacco, right, that we have to bring to New York. That was stupid. Okay, buy that back. Okay, so you need supply run of 10 units of that. It's, we have 24 days. I'm going to accept that. Then we're going to grab ourselves a ton of that. Going to get to New York. All of our dudes are here. Gonna go to the depot. We're gonna um, swap these round. Okay. And we're gonna repair that. And repair that. We're gonna repair that. And we need to repair that as well. Okay. So those are all getting repaired. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we still have to do that. Okay. Well, I think we can still do it in time. Let's do that. We get ourselves a bit of cash. Nineteen days. Still think we can do it in time. Only got one more day to go. Dear Walter, someone's been spreading heinous rumors about our financial tumors uh doing no doubt about that. The display of monetary power should suffice to save our good reputation. I suggest a deposit of five thousand dollars. Okay. So we're gonna accept that. We're going to move on. going to wait for you to open. Um, 
deposit money. Spend the five thousand he suggests. Okay, so we can withdraw that in forty four days. Then we get our train back together. Get to the station. Let's get the lads on board. Put you there. Walter, back to your same old spot. Stephen, here. Frederick, here. Yeah, okay. Then we need to get the oil. That's 10 units of oil. Then I want to check do you have a delivery going the same way? Indianapolis? No, okay. So we have 15 days left to do it. We're going to invest the rest. In a little bit more oil. We can then, luckily, we can buy a ton of coal because I wasn't looking out for that. Okay. So, Buffalo. Oh, we need more coal. Damn. So, we have to get offload one barrel of oil at a little bit of a loss. Then we can get ourselves another ton. Get there. Oh yeah, and so he gets more shares, it's fine. We lost money there, but we did have some expenditure, so. Okay, we failed that one. That's not a problem. Let's talk to City Hall here. We'll hear about this. Okay, now he needs a supply run of 19 units of jewelry. He's gonna pay, he's gonna pay $8,000 for it. We can definitely do that for you, buddy. and deliver tools to Richmond. So Richmond was where I was thinking of getting the jewelry for you. So that could actually work out pretty well. Now, we've done that. We are gonna go to, yeah, so that we have to take 22 days, okay? This is 16 days. Right, so I'm gonna accept that. And I'm gonna see how long it would take from Buffalo to Richmond. That'd be 30, wow, 37 days. That's not happening, is it? So. We go there and drop this off. And then check. Eight days. So we can do that, but we can't do the other one unless. So what we'll do is we'll go. Oh, that's not as far. 11 days, okay. So we'll go to Richmond. Oops, sorry. We'll go to Richmond and then we shall. Um, We'll buy. Do you you guys sell jewelry as well, right? In Washington. Let's see. No, they don't. Okay. So what I was gonna say is, we could go there, do delivery, buy eighteen or uh, as many as we can haul. I think eighteen and bring it back and then if 
then if we can um if it's still available then we can pick it and go down and just get the rest yeah so i like the, i like the idea of that so we're gonna load up and travel as far as we can on the call that we have so we're gonna go 2.5 tons into there then we get ourselves, I guess, only to New York. But at least there we can probably get to Washington after that. Okay. Then head to the market. Dear Sir, as shareholder of National Swift Railroad, you invite to take part in company share auctions, 2% lot in Montgomery. Okay, cool. But we didn't sell the rest of our oil, so we're going to sell that somewhere. Well, it's not going to be here. That's why it was... Yeah, that's why we were so heavy, I guess. Let's um, grab some of that. Wait, so do we have 17 tools? We don't, right? How many tools do we have? 11. So we have to go back there. Damn. Yeah, we have to go back there and then we have to sell the oil. That was a stupid thing to do. So back to Buffalo. Maybe now they need oil. That'd be great. So we're just about going to make it down there. So we're not even going to check those guys need oil no this needs to go on to there yep thank you oh, and then we need coal again right because it won't be enough to get there yeah silly mistake but hey everybody makes mistakes sometimes right Almost could almost make it there, but not not quite. No, no talking to anyone for three hours. We have a job to do. So then go to the market. Two tons of coal. This probably will get us down as far as Washington. Yep, and then we we'll have a small jaunt to Richmond then. Ah, I'm fine, thanks, buddy. This is going to be very close on days. No, thank you. But it should be only two days at the most between here and there. So let's grab two tons of coal and then one thing of medicine. And get ourselves to Richmond. So two days, one day. Thanks, buddy, but no. Yeah, we made it with 11 hours to spare. Actually, we made it with two hours to spare. Or, no, four hours to spare, yeah. Okay, so we're here about the delivery. Then we're going to go to the market. I'm going to... Uh, of course, you lose money on that. We'll buy 18 of those. And we're going to bring them all the way back. Because if we can complete this, that's going to be a big boost to us. Travel there. We'll get that en new engine eventually. Okay, go to the market. We're gonna buy three tons of coal because that will do us all the way back. Let's travel there. And really it's fingers crossed. So we made two and a half grand that month. Uh, not today, thanks buddy.
So now here's the moment of truth. Do they still need it? No, they need medicine now. Okay. Well, the good thing is we can take profit on that. So that's one and a half thousand in profit. It's not hugely impressive, but profit is profit. Now, you'll only pay, you're not paying a great amount. Um, where would we get medicine for you anyway? We could, yeah, we could go to New York and do it, I guess. But that's going to be next time as we're out of time. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you then. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right or checking out some other videos here on the left. Or perhaps you might even share with some friends.